It may not look like it, but what you're looking at right now is peak destructive performance in BeamNG Drive. It's actually pretty hilarious if I'm going to be honest, so stick around and you'll see what I mean. Hope you enjoy. Alright guys, so as you know, the topic of today's video is destructive weapons in BeamNG. Now, normal people would think to, you know, look at things such as concrete walls or flails, uh, a ram truck, the ram bus with Jado rockets, or even the large spinner or roller. And if you're really creative, the inflatable mat. And these are all certainly mighty foes, I will say. But these all pale in comparison to the one and only Streetlight. I know it sounds stupid, and you probably think I'm insane, which is not far from the truth. However, this thing has unimaginable power that I, I don't even know how to describe. Basically, it is really, 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 really heavy. So heavy, in fact, that if you put it on the scale, if you put it on there, it actually breaks it. I've never been able to successfully weigh it. But I want to show you guys what it does to a vehicle. Uh, let's just grab, I don't know, an ETK K-series. And I got rid of the roller. Oh, well. I'm actually going to go ahead uh, really quickly, and I just broke the transmission. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all these other items, because they're really lagging me out, especially the mat. Let me do that really quick. I'll be right back. All right. The other things have been removed. Ew, ESC. What am I, a moron? All right. Let's get our very sifty car over here and do a donut just so people know we're cool and uh we're gonna we're just gonna take this and we're gonna drop it on top of the car right about here no survivors today <laughs> and as you see it just eviscerated this vehicle there is nothing left so it's not the actual street lamp itself, this is fairly light. This doesn't do much. You know, you could throw it at your car. It'll do some damage, like a few dents here and there, but it won't really do anything uh, that interesting. The issue here comes with the base. This is uh, the base of it. This is the main attraction here. I've got the node grabber at 100% strength. It is so heavy that when I drag it around, it just warps itself and I am unable to pick it up. So moving on. What I like to do, sorry, I'm probably shaking my desk a ton. What I like to do a lot is uh, go, like when I'm in multiplayer, you know, I'm driving around, you know, drifting, uh, having my game stutter terribly while I'm trying to drive. I'll be doing whatever, doing my own thing. And these people will come by and just uh, try and completely ruin my game by ramming into me with... You know, one of the aforementioned vehicles from the beginning of this video, such as the Ram bus, the, the truck, or, you know, just something else. Or dropping one, one of those brick walls on me. And it's really annoying. But you see, being an oh-so-advanced player of BeamNG Drive, you come around the block a few times and you learn a few things. Like the stuff I mentioned. Uh, like the inflatable mat is a really good way to annoy people who are annoying you. You know, just get back at them. Wow, this thing slides really nicely, especially for being on a controller. Anywho, really does a good job of getting people to s stop messing with you and leave you alone. But the street light, it goes beyond that. And it just strikes fear into the hearts of anybody who happens to encounter it and gets hit with it in the right way. Now, the unfortunate part about the, uh, the, the street light as opposed to the inflatable mat is it's really hard to hit somebody when they're moving. But, you know, when somebody's trying to create like a blockade on the road, I'll show you what I mean. The best place to drop it is right on the engine. I don't know if you know this, if you're like newer, but the engines in this game are really, really hard to destroy. And uh, sometimes it might not work every time, but sometimes, whoa, <gasps> holy crap, <laughs> there it goes. Dude, it just went supernova. That's what happens. We started here and it went all the way like over uh oh i lost it oh here it is i was able to locate it by the giant pile of fire coming out of did i say pile of fire uh disregarding that we're not gonna pay attention oh it seems to have extinguished itself interesting uh but yeah i don't really we could try it with a few different vehicles i suppose that would be interesting uh let's grab a uh there's some things that i don't know if it actually oh no i'm sorry widgeon but your time is now come over here so we're gonna drop it right here and we're gonna get a good camera angle it doesn't always explode your car i should uh say sometimes it takes a few tries sometimes it doesn't do it at all depending on the vehicle uh uh oh <laughs> oh my gosh 
Oh, oh, oh. Alrighty then. We have caused a instability. You can just kind of beat it to death, you know? <laughs> There's nothing left. There's a beacon going into the sky. There's one more vehicle that I want to try, and that is the T-Series. Uh, ignore that. I have a habit of putting mods into my ve actual vehicles folder. Okay, I want to drop it. The best place to drop it is either on the engine, if you want absolute obliteration, or, or if you want the game to crash or pause the physics, you want it on the tires. The tires will completely just destroy the physics. I don't think it knows what to do with that. All right, you know, I was expecting a lot more of a spectacular, uh... Oh! There's the cab! Oh my god, I need to f catch up to it here. How's that for out of the park? We're gonna land in the ocean. And by a very large margin, too. <laughs> it just sunk like a rock. What a vehicle. Alright, so we've established that, you know, that... Oh. Let's, let's get... Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry if the audio is clipping and stuff when I yell. I can't use OBS with BeamNG because it stutters really, really badly. It's either like record with OBS and get bad video but great audio or record with AMD Relive and get like worse audio but great video. I figured for this you'd want, you know, better video just so you can see what's going on. Also, I didn't mention this but you can obviously tell i got a new microphone moving on i would like to try some inanimate vehicle not inanimate uh, non-vehicle objects like maybe the christmas tree oh the metal box and uh actually one of my friends suggested we actually try and crush the uh big like brick wall that i had out earlier because you know they're both like really really heavy things you kind of like a battle to the death you know I think I know who's going to win, but right, so what's going to happen? Oh, oh, it deformed it. You know how hard it is to make this thing deform? I mean, it's like all of that and it's not even affected. Let's go ahead and get that wall out. All right. And I'm going to actually um, do two different situations here. We're going to... uh. <laughs> We're going to start with one brick, like just this one right here. And then on our next one, we're going to uh, try the entire wall and see what happens. I'm very scared for what's going to happen. It could be nothing. It could be everything. Come on, do something funny. Oh, <laughs> okay. We'll reset that. And now, oh, now let's try the entire wall. And then that might be the finale for this video. There's not a whole lot to talk about. It's just something I thought was kind of, that I thought was kind of funny. And we're going to get a good angle on this. Oh, did it stop it? Let's try it again. I've managed to glitch some of the bricks inside of each other. Oh, man, I feel like we got to try one more thing. We got to have like a good uh, finale or something, you know, something to really just uh... wait a minute. I've got the perfect idea. Let's get multiple cars and just stack them on top of each other. Let's do like three cars. Now the cars are going to be have to are going to have to be like slightly like clipping through one another. You know, I think this will work. Let's get our street light. I just have to get out of here. I just have to line it up perfectly so that it hits all three engines. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. See what happens. Whoa. Oh my God. Whoa! 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 What is this? Uh oh. Guys, I think we broke the game. Oh, no. All right. Well, on that note, uh, I guess I'll end this video because everything is destroying itself. And I don't I don't know. I don't know what else to say about this. This is kind of a lot for me to take in. This is very chaotic. But my God, is it hilarious? All right. Uh, well, if you guys enjoyed, uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more like this. I would love to do more like this. And uh, maybe messing with people in multiplayer would be an interesting thing to uh, do for a video or a live stream or something. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good night. See ya.